Hi and welcome to our Share Stories <coughs> uh, feature news and the latest new uh, use cases. I may welcome John from our uh, our partner from our common joint venture Share Stories. And let me just introduce it. In autumn 2021, we have updated our mobile app for mobile journalism with some new features. And I would like to take the opportunity to talk with John about these new features, about the app in general. And also, John is very happy to present us a news case. And then we have a short outlook into the future and what we are going to do with Share Stories and our Your Stories app. Hi, John. Good morning. How do you do? Hi, Dennis. Would you mind to describe us what the shared, uh, what the Your Stories app is about? Yeah, sure. So the, the Your Stories app is a very easy, fast and simple content creation app, uh, mainly video, uh, where you can easily um, combine clips to complete stories. That's actually the short description. Cool. And uh, the current available features, as well as the basic usage in your stories, is for video editing, right? Yeah, well, I, I can elaborate a bit more. What you see is that creating videos um, needs to be fast because uh, you don't want to be the last to, to, sh to tell news. So what we've done is we've created an app that is um, for Android and iOS available and that allows you to stitch clips together, edit it, and if you edit it, you can add titles, text, uh, metadata, um, and you can post it straight from the app to the platforms you connected. So mm -hmm. it's very flexible. Um, and the editing is in minutes, not hours. Um, whereas if you, uh, for instance, ingest video clips shot with a camera and you go to Adobe Premiere or, or Avid, then you need to ingest it, uh, get it right, uh, set it up. And this is what you can do on your way back from the news event in the bus uh, while you're traveling, um, actually. So it's um, an enhancement to get news to the audience quickly or content to the audience quickly. Okay. Just let us uh, have us a look on the, on the second slide, please. And maybe, maybe you can uh, give us your thoughts about it. So the director's room would be so kind as to publish the second slide of the presentation. So uh, I can't see your view. So um, um, you have the second slide in your in your screen. I've got the slide with the arrange, compose, and publish thing. So you've got it on Good. the screen. <laughs> All right. So what what you see here is uh, actually a screenshot from the app. It is a simple um, uh, user interface where you see in the middle the several clips that I've uh, ingested from the film roll and then they're in a certain order i can change the order by pressing it and, and swiping it to left or to right but i also can and you see that in that um that little um uh, box underneath in the menu you can easily um start editing and you see in the second um uh, screenshot like uh, underneath compose you can see that you can add titles or lower thirds but you can also um, see that the logo of your brand is already uh, placed in the video. So there are several features already automatically from the backend integrated in the app. Um, where you see that um, the editing uh, is just here, a title and a lower third. It also provides um, services like um, uh, transitions. You can add your voice over where your audio speech um, will be uh, merged within the video. Um, and you can, um, of course, uh, trim the clips. If they are too long, you can um, actually, you can do all the basic uh, editing features in your app client side. So no server load, no waiting for cloud storage. It's still on your phone and the current phones um, up, up from uh, the uh, S9 or the iPhone 10 uh, are pretty fast in this, uh, this, this app. So John, and then says, when you see the last slide, you see the publish page. Of course, we added some some extra fields so that you can uh, give a, a fetching uh, and refindable uh, title because you want to find your videos back. We automatically add you as a user to it, but you can change the description to the text that you like. This will be posted with the video on the platform as a description. So think about Google optimization here. 
And then you can add markers. They're not obli obligatory. But for instance, if it's a commercial video, then in European law, you need to state that it's an advertisement if you're, uh, for instance, an influencer. These kind of markings are also uh, featured here. So John, then you can choose in the free version if you like our logo in it or you don't, then you get a little description underneath. But usually you are a business user, so you have your logo in place. So this is um, something that you see now for the free users, but for the paid users, they can add their logo. And then you see like cloud, yes, your stories, that's our backend. There's a little archive functionality there. But you can also add Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, and all those kind of channels yeah. John, that's to what connect I would to, like. your, um, John. to your uh, app so John. that you click on publish. And once you click on publish, it is sent to our backend and to the channels that you have allowed us to connect to. So, John, in relation to, to publishing, in relation to publishing the content, uh, the content uh, on which channels can your stories app publish the content? Dennis, where are you? I can't hear you anymore. John, can you hear me? All right. What you see in the screen now is um, the screenshot of the backend, and as you see. Um, You can set up different uh, things. I just keep talking because I can't hear you anymore. Can, can you hear me, John? Or should I stop now? No. Can you hear me? John? Well, then I hope John is keep Hello. talking. <clears throat> So um, hopefully well, you can still hear me. Um, I have to. I, I, I don't know if I have uh, to excuse, but we have a little right. transmission problem. So what John I see in my screen at least is that you can set up your I can company hear John, uh, as a which is rather account. uncomfortable and for having an interview. So I ask for like a little bit more patience. Uh, elements like a logo, your house style colors, your font, your preloader, and your postloader that you can add, for instance, an animation for every video and an animation in the uh, after every video. But you can also uh, connect people, people outside of your company or people in, within your company, give them different rights, like uh, um, admin rights, member rights, and reporter rights. And therefore, you can manage your workflow. Which video do you want to publish directly? Which video do you want to first see and then publish? And to what channels? You can also add departments to the uh, to the backend so that you have a clear um, um, uh, clear overview of every activity that you have that requires video storytelling. It's a bit awkward to um, not hear anything anymore. Can you hear me now, John? Let's try to reconnect. Can you see time. me, John? I think John, John has a little issue with his computer, so he's trying. He's going to disconnect himself, and then he's trying to connect himself again. So I ask you for a little bit more patience. In the meantime, I would like to draw your attention on our substitute stand at IBC, which is actually looking much, much better than the original would have looked. But this is just a side note. On the other hand side, I can draw your attention. I can draw your attention on the painting that made my little daughter. 
Dennis, let me jump in Stefan, here. I'll be trying thanks. to reconnect. Uh, now we can sing a duet. <laughs> no, we don't. So let's go on, and I will try to do my very best to answer the question Perfect. that you would like John usually to answer. So, and let's see when we can have him back. John was so kind as to explain it, the current available features in your stories, the ways on which kind of channels it could be uh, reproduced and could be sent to. He explained us the functionality of the backend, especially the role of the, of the, for the news agency as, a, as the admin. And so my next question would be, what other social media portals we can expect from share stories to be integrated with? Yeah, so that very moment we focused on the typical social media portals like uh, YouTube and Facebook. Uh, as a next, we will go on with uh, looking into the more, let's say, business-like uh, connections. So like uh, LinkedIn and vContact. Um, so yeah, simply to, to move on to the um, yeah, enterprise or business uh, social media portals. Beside this, there's also a focus on connecting uh, web CMS so that uh, for especially business purposes, you can upload your content to your um, yeah, company web page and to the video portal within the company web page. I think John is back with us. So shall we, yeah. shall we do a threesome or shall we uh, take it as... Uh... Oh, I'm stepping out again. Okay. Have fun, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, well, he was doing pretty well, uh, I heard, in the last few seconds. Have you had your lunch break? You should have postponed it a little bit. I didn't. No, 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 it's I okay. It just was cut off. <laughs> <laughs> John. Yes. The publication channels that are yes. intended to be made available in your stories, what are they yeah. going to be? Which ones? Well, actually, the main uh, social media channels are, of course, um, very relevant. Uh, like Instagram, Facebook, uh, like uh, LinkedIn, mm -hmm. uh, for, of course, YouTube. But we see that um, uh, while uh, video storytelling is becoming more professional uh, by, the, by the minute, um, you see that also Vimeo uh, is a channel that we like to connect. And you also see that we can connect to enterprise solutions like backend storage systems or maybe even uh, uh, MAMs and PAMs where we can directly uh, uh, send it through. Um, this is because our system has a, has a backend of its own and APIs in place so that we can connect to any uh, enterprise solution as well. But CMSs like Joomla, WordPress, um, uh, and of course, um, the more advanced uh, um, um, but connectable CMSs are uh, also very easy connected. So you still keep up to date and develop further and further and further that the app is going to be always state of the art, let's say it this way. Yes, but, but you know, Dennis, um, we uh, can think of everything we'd like to, but we can't. So we need our customers to tell us what sure. they prefer. And then uh, we can, of course, custom connect uh, to anything yeah. as it's a flexible system. That's a good point, John, because we are a B2B uh, B2 uh, trade show here and not an entertainment show for, for B2C customers. What are our customers? What, what, what is the target group? Well, yeah, we have uh, several packages that are um, uh, engineered for cer certain customers. Um, but what you see is that we have ind individual storytellers like influencers, but also simple freelancers that are a guru in their field and like to share their content as, uh, as Stefan mentioned on LinkedIn, like a professional channel, um, these, uh, these uh, uh, professionals can use your stories as an individual user. You also have those small companies that um, can, of course, write uh, thick packages of papers for, uh, for people to read. But isn't it more, uh, more efficient and more effective if you just show them what your business is all about? So the marketing departments of, uh, of medium-sized companies that can easily create a video that is branded for branded content purposes, for instance, but also uh, the, the, the news companies that like to engage with their readers or with their audience um, and that really like them to show um, in a video what they're all about. We have the, the, the use cases with, for instance, Bicycling Magazine and Runner's World they um, use their influencers and actually their ambassadors to create content for them by filming their setup of their bike and how much carbon is in it and, and how light it is and things like that. 
these kind of engagements is uh, also a very, uh, very um, um, uh, logical uh, use case. So it can, it can be really anyone from the guy next door who is, who is handy and keen with making videos and publishing it on its personal Facebook page up to the major worldwide acting news agency or even, let's say, the national police who are evaluating the body cam videos with it. It can be really anybody. Yeah, exactly. exactly. We're currently uh, um, working closely together with uh, uh, um, a European scale basketball club. Uh, I mentioned to you uh, quickly, um, there are players, there are 12 players in the main team, and they are going to um, show their training videos and share that with the fans. They're going to show them what, what their lifestyle to get a professional, to be a professional basketball player is all about. And then the marketing department of that, that uh, basketball club is going to uh, use the app to do interviews and to, do, uh, to compile the biggest and the best shots or even the best bloopers while sliding over the floor and things like that. And this kind of content, your phone is equipped with a camera that is really sufficient. And now you have an app to go with that to edit it, to make it engaging. So what makes the difference between your stories app and any other app? Because there are hundreds of apps in the market who can create, edit, work with a video, publish it somewhere. What makes the difference? What is so handy with that app that you would say, oh, everybody needs it? I understand, but I also understand we have 25 minutes. Huh? So I'll just leave the technical part. Just leave the technical part and make your marketing story. <laughs> Our marketing story. Well, the, the main difference is that you can, um, uh, with your Stories app, you're platform independent. So for instance, if you make an Instagram reel or you make an Instagram story, then um, you publish on Instagram. And then you have to do the same thing again because you also want it on Facebook. And you have to do the same thing again if you also want to publish it on Twitter. Um, and with your Stories, you create your story, landscape or uh, um, a portray, and then when you have that, you can share it flexibly on every channel that you connect. And you can also archive it in the back end for later purpose, later use. So this is a main difference. Another difference is that it's all done client side. And that's not the technical part, but what makes that nice is you're in control in, uh, of your video up until the moment that you are uh, completely satisfied with the video and you upload it to the backhand. Uh, why is this such a, such a feature? Well, you might be a guest reporter and don't have any idea how to create a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. But just simply connecting to a company's site, it allows you to publish on your, the YouTube channel of the company. Yeah, that's so you very don't cool. need any uh, other knowledge or, or, or skills, just tell your story. That's really cool. John, we've got five minutes left. Uh, shall we have a look on one use case? Maybe we take the use case with the, with the bicycle driver that you, that you recently mentioned. If the direct class room would be so nice as to put the video on, maybe John can, can say something to it. Yeah, that would be good. Ah, so yeah. What you have here is, for instance, uh, the Alpecin um, um, uh, campaign. This was during the, um, um, the Tour de France, the prelude, prelude to the Tour de France. And Alpecin allowed their customers to win uh, a, a place in the training camp of uh, Marcel Kittel. Now, you all know Marcel Kittel. He's a great uh, bicycling racer. And he entered the, the, um, the, the Tour de France. And the winners were um, uh, invited to the training center. So what happened here is these feature, uh, videos that you see are simply created by those winners and published by Bicycling. To just give you an idea, the series contained five to seven videos, five from the, the, um, the winners, two from Marcel Kittel himself, and the average reach was 30,000 viewers. But the videos Marcel Kittel created from his own setup in the paddock at the Tour de France 
reached over 100,000 100, views. And just to show you that in 10 minutes, you can have a video that goes viral. So also then individual sports people as well as sports clubs could use it in general. Yes, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. And especially because Marcel has no clue how to create a video. But now he does because he has the app. Okay. Now my last question, on Your vision for yes. your stories. And what is your story standing for? Well, my big audacious goal, as you might say, is that um, if we can um, reach out and have people use this, uh, this app um, and, and have it share it with uh, reporters all over, then people can share stories um, without the, the, the shivering, without the, 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 the blurry videos, without the black bars on the side because the app helps you to create a very nice story with titles, with everything in it, and helps you share that in a professional way. So my vision is that uh, companies are um, more flexible, can do more with video, and can also um, involve their audience and their um, uh, fans with their storytelling. And of course, probably even more cost efficient than hiring an agency who is doing uh, videos for any commercial reason. That, that's obvious. Of course. Because, you know, um, you can start with your stories as an individual user for nine euros a month. Um, try to create a video story with Adobe Premiere and a team with an audio and video guy. It is an, a multitude of that. Well, besides um, with Adobe Premiere, you need a university degree in, in, in technical engineering. I, I mean, with your app, app, everybody can do it. Even my five little year old daughter could maybe create a video. <laughs> my mother did, and she's almost 18. Well, so everybody can do it. Wonderful. So, John, yes. let me appreciate for your time. Let me excuse for the Thank technical you. misunderstanding. I'm sending you now back to your lunch break. And Thank you. I would like to, to give a reference to our audience to the coffee bar and also to the demos in our different brand rooms. John, bye bye from Munich. Say hi to Holland. Thank you from Holland. Bye. bye, -bye.